Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da Habita fillah It's important for us and it should be a priority for all of us To try to gain the love of Allah Azza wa Jal And there are certain signs of the mu'mineen and certain signs of the believers And those who are beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala The awliya of Allah Those people who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has favored with his love and we all want to be of those who are loved and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all to be loved by him Amin ya Rabbil Alameen Imam Anawawi rahimahullah ta'ala said in his chapter Bab alamat al-habb Allah ta'ala lil-abd wal-hatha ala takhluq biha wa sa'i fi tahsiliha he said the signs, the chapter, the signs of Allah's love for his slaves and the efforts for its achievement, meaning the efforts for attaining the love of Allah. How can we gain the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitabi al kareem Qul in kuntum tuhibbun Allah fa'tabiyuni yuhbibakum Allah wa yaghfillakum dhunubakum wallahu gufur rahim And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, في كتاب الكريم يا أيها الذين آمنوا من يرتد منكم عن دينه فسوف يأتي الله بقوم يحبهم يحبهم ويحبونه أذلة على المؤمنين عزة على الكافرين يجاهدون في سبيل الله ولا يخافون لومة اللائم ذلك فضل الله يؤتيه من يشاء Wallahu wasi'un alim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al Kareem in the first verse, Ahabatifillah, He says, Say, and this was addressing the Prophet, وسلم, if you really love Allah, then follow me. So the Prophet وسلم, was addressed to say this to the believers, then follow him, meaning follow his sunnah, alayhi salatu was salam. Allah will love you and forgive you of your sins, and Allah is all forgiving, most merciful. In this verse, Sahabat Fillah, we see that it affirms for us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala possesses what attributes? That He possesses love, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So always remember that Allah loves His servants, and that you should strive your best to be of those who are loved. Regardless of what act of ibadah, because all that we are concerned about with regards to our religious affairs is ibadah, is worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So even if you refute ahla bid'ah, for example, it should be to gain the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It should not be to exalt yourself and make yourself seem better in the eyes of people. And if you're making hajj like those Pilgrims who came to the sacred house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala just now, who are just leaving. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all of their hajj, of the hajjaj, and forgive them of their sins. Ameen, ya Rabbil Alameen. That is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that it's ibadah, and it's to gain the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Also in this ayat, a habit of Allah, we see that the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is gained by following the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will love you and forgive you of your sins by following the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Allah is off forgiving most merciful. Again, those are attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who will go for a rahim. He's the off forgiving, the most merciful. And in the second verse of Habatifillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O oh, you who believe, whomever from amongst you turns his back from this religion, meaning Islam, Allah will bring a people whom he will love, and they will love him. Humble towards the believers, stern towards the disbelievers, fighting in the way of Allah, and never afraid of the blame of the blamers. That is the grace of Allah, which he bestows on whom he wills, and Allah is all sufficient for his creatures' needs. All knower. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. So in this verse, Ahabat Tifillah, it also shows us this was an, ad uh, an, ad an address to the believers, to the believers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those who 
try to practice Islam and fulfill the pillars of Iman. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, whoever from amongst you turns his back from this religion. So never, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O oh, you who believe, fear Allah, meaning follow his commandments and avoid his prohibitions. The true taqwa, and do not die except in a state of belief, in a state of iman. So strive your best to hold on to your deen. Hold on to your iman. Do those things which are going to strengthen your iman. We all get weak. Sometimes our iman is high, sometimes our iman is low. But this is a reminder to myself and my brothers and sisters, it's very easy for you to do nawafal, to do extra prayers. It's very easy to you to, to guard your sunnahs. It's very easy for you to occasionally fast. Aside from Ramadan, I'm talking about doing the extra. So, to gain the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is following His commands, following the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, sticking to Iman, sticking to Ahli Iman, sticking to Islam. And the characteristics of the mu'min is that he's humble towards his brothers in faith. And he's stern towards those who disbelieve and harm the believers and stand as obstacles to the believers. Not meaning that you're always harsh and you're always stern, but that you take a stern position when it comes to Tawheed. You don't compromise your Iman. You don't compromise your faith. And not to be fearful of the blame, of the blameworthy. Because look how many people are persecuting the Muslims around the world and speaking ill of the Muslims around the world, calling to dispel the Muslims out of their lands, calling to put up walls to prevent the Muslims from coming in, making it hard for the Muslims that are a part of those lands, that are the fabric of that society, of these various societies. They make it difficult for them. And that doesn't mean that we don't have deviants amongst us in our communities who don't make it hard for us. Of course we do. We have those people who are blameworthy. Those people who should be killed because they are the khawarij, they are the shayateen. Those are the people of extremism. Those are the people who call people to terror and evil and devilish actions which taint the reputation of Islam. And for their tainting of the reputation of Islam, they deserve to be ostracized at least. Ahabatifillah, the point of, the, of this short talk is that we should strive to be loved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in the hadith of Abi Huraira, رضي الله تعالى عنه, قال, قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم, إن الله تعالى قال, من عادي لي وليا فقد أذنته بالحرب وما تقرب إلي عبدي بشيء أحب إلي مما مما افترضت عليه وما يزال عبدي يتقرب إليه بنوافلي حتى أحبه فإذا أحببته كنت سمعه هو الذي يسمع به وبصره هو الذي يبصر به ويده هو التي يبتش به يبتش بها ورجله ورجله هو التي يمشي بها وَإِنْ سَأَلَنِي لِعُطِيَنَّهُ وَلَا إِنْ اسْتَعَاذَنِي لِعُعِيذَنَهُ رواه بخاري In the hadith of Abi Huraira رضي الله تعالى عنه who reported that the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said that, uh, that Allah the Exalted has said the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم this is hadith Qudsi Allah the Exalted has said, I will declare war against him who treats with hostility a pious worshiper of mine. And the most beloved thing which with, with which my slave comes nearer to me is what I have enjoined upon him. And my slave keeps coming nearer to me through performing nawafil, the voluntary prayers, or doing extra deeds besides what is obligatory, until I love him. So this is the way we gain Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's love. So much so that I become his hearing for which he hears, and his sight with which he sees, and his hand with which he strikes, and his leg with which he walks, and if he asks me something, I will surely give him. And if he seeks my protection, I will surely protect him. Ruah Bukhari. 
Ahabatifillah, there are so many immense benefits in this hadith. And for another time, we'll actually go into some of the benefits that the uh, Shurahat mention, that the explainers of the hadith, they mention. But the point of mentioning in this hadith, that Imam Anawi mentioned it in this chapter to show that the way that we attain Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's love, because all of us listen carefully, is by doing extra deeds. Do what's a wajib upon you and obligatory on you and do extra, extra fast, extra sadaqah. And it's very simple, smile at people. Give, give uh, something from your wealth, even if you don't have much. Give up your Starbucks for a day and, and give that, those couple of dollars to someone you see who's in need. Invite people to khair, to goodness. And to the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.